There's been a lot of buzz about VO2 max lately. Now, when you hear these letters, it might sound like some new energy drink or something like Pepsi Max, but that's not it. VO2 max is one of the intensely monitored metrics when it comes to performance athletes, runners, and their coaches to fine tune performance and gain a competitive edge. But today, it is no longer just confined to the world of elite athletes. As more people become interested in maintaining peak health and extending their longevity, VO2 max has entered the mainstream conversation. Why? Because it's a powerful indicator of overall fitness fitness, health, and longevity. If you are keen on staying active and feeling your best, understanding VO2 max can make a significant difference. Let me share a real life story with you. Stephanie was a 32 year old runner. She loved racing and it was her way of relieving stress and staying fit. But no matter how hard she trained, she couldn't break her personal records. Frustrated and seeking a solution, she hired a very expensive but knowledgeable performance coach. After assessing her training program, her coach identified that while she was consistent with her steady state runs, she wasn't incorporating enough variety to challenge her cardiovascular system. To boost her VO2 max, he recommended a personalized plan that included high intensity interval training or HIIT. And additionally, she started strength training sessions to build muscle and improve her overall metabolic health. The idea was to push her body out of its comfort zone and force it to adapt. A few months later, Stephanie ran her fastest marathon ever. She broke through her previous plateau and achieved a personal best time. More importantly, she felt stronger and more resilient than ever before. So before we venture further, let's start with the basics. In VO2 max, V stands for volume, O2 for oxygen, and max is maximum. So maximal oxygen volume uptake, or the maximum rate at which your body can consume oxygen during intense exercise or when your body really needs it. It's measured in milliliters of oxygen used per minute per kilogram of body weight. Essentially, it's one of the best tests to measure your aerobic capacity. When you exercise, your muscles need more oxygen to produce energy. Your lungs take in oxygen, which is then transported by your blood to your muscles. The more efficient this process, the higher your VO2 max. It's not just about the lungs and the heart though. It also involves your blood vessels and muscles. The entire process from breathing in oxygen to using it for energy production relies on a complex system working in harmony. But why should you bother about it? Imagine you're an engine. The bigger your engine, the more fuel you can burn and the more power you can produce. VO2 max is like the size of your engine. The higher it is, the better your endurance and overall cardiovascular health. If we were to look at the values of this VO2 max for someone in their mid-30s, essentially there can be three categories, such as sedentary, people who don't get up from their couch or chair if their life depends on it. Active people are those who move around as much as required in a day and work out fairly regularly. Then we have very active people who are fitness buffs and high performance athletes. The value for men and women would look something like this. Sedentary men would have a VO2 max between 35 and 40, whereas women would be between 27 and 30. Active men would have VO2 max between 40 and 50, whereas women would be between 35 and 45. Very active men would have VO2 max between 60 and 85, whereas women would be around 55 to 75. These values give us a benchmark to compare when we are compared to the optimal levels of VO2 max. VO2 max is also a critical indicator of cardiovascular health. It provides insight into how well your heart, lungs, and muscles work together. People with high VO2 max levels typically have healthier hearts, lower blood pressure, and better overall fitness. This is important for preventing chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. When it comes to athletes, a higher VO2 max can mean the difference between winning and losing. Top athletes have developed their mitochondria and made it super efficient. They have increased and strengthen their capacity of absorbing oxygen and have sort of bulletproof themselves against disease. It enables them to perform at their peak for longer durations. But it's not just for athletes. Even if you are a moderately active individual, improving your VO2 max can enhance your day-to-day -day activities, making tasks like climbing stairs or playing with your kids easier and more enjoyable. Studies like this one in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology have shown that a higher VO2 max is linked to a lower risk of heart disease, improved athletic performance, and increase lifespan by significantly lowering the risk of death from all causes. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, please be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Now that we know what VO2 max is and how it helps with overall health, we can look at the best ways to boost your VO2 max. Here are some very effective strategies. First up, we have high intensity interval training, as mentioned before. This is a real game changer when it comes to improving your VO2 max. The idea is simple. You push yourself to the max for short bursts 
followed by periods of rest or lower intensity work. Think sprinting for 30 seconds, then walking for a minute and repeating that cycle for 20 minutes or so. Not only does this kind of training spike your heart rate and challenge your cardiovascular system, but it's also a fantastic way to burn calories and rev up your metabolism. Next up is strength training. Building muscle is crucial for boosting your overall metabolic health and it can indirectly boost your VO2 max too. You see, the more muscle you have, the more efficient your body becomes at using oxygen. So make sure to hit those compound exercises like chest presses, push-ups, squats, deadlifts, and pull-ups. They're the real star exercises when it comes to building lean muscle mass. Cross-training is another fantastic strategy. By mixing up your routine with activities like swimming, cycling, and rowing, you're challenging your cardiovascular system in new and exciting ways. This variety not only helps you improve different aspects of your fitness, but it also prevents those lurking overuse injuries that can sideline you from your training. Cross-training helps a lot with your stabilizing muscles as the movements are more functional in nature. Now for the more advanced techniques. Have you heard of hypoxic training and plyometric training. This involves restricting your air intake or exercising at higher altitudes, forcing your body to become more efficient at using oxygen. It's a tactic used by many elite athletes to take their VO2 max to the next level. One would go through this sort of training when going mountaineering or any sport at high altitudes. Another option is plyometric training. Think explosive movements like box jumps or plyo lunges. They basically revolve around explosive short bursts of exercise. These exercises not only challenge your cardiovascular system but also build serious power and strength. It's a double whammy for your VO2 max and overall athletic performance. Besides exercises, the right nutrients can enhance your exercise performance and recovery. A balanced diet rich in whole foods, lean proteins, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates is the way to go. Staying hydrated is equally important as dehydration can impair your performance and oxygen utilization. This is common sense, but common sense might not be as common as you think. And let's not forget about the importance of rest and recovery. Look, no matter how hard you train, if you're not getting enough sleep, you're not going to see the results you want. Your body needs that downtime to repair and adapt to the stress you're putting it through. Trust me, I learned this lesson the hard way. It's a flex when we are in our 20s, but as I went through my 30s, I really started to see the effects even by missing one night's sleep. So prioritize those eight to nine hours of quality sleep and you'll be amazed at how much better you feel and perform. Now, while lifestyle changes are the foundation, there are a few supplements that can give you an extra dose when it comes to boosting your VO2 max. Let's start with beta alanine. This non-essential amino acid is produced naturally in our bodies, but supplementing it can have some serious benefits for your training. You see, during intense exercise, your muscles accumulate hydrogen ions which can lead to that dreaded burning sensation and fatigue. Beta alanine helps by combining with histidine to form carnosine, a powerful intramuscular buffer. With more carnosine in your muscles, you can better regulate those hydrogen ions, delaying fatigue and allowing you to push harder and longer during your workouts. This improved endurance capacity can lead to better adaptations and increased VO2 max over time. Next up, we have beetroot extract or just real beetroots. Beetroots are rich in nitrates, which can have a pretty cool effect on your body. When you consume nitrates, they're converted to nitric oxide, a molecule that helps dilate your blood vessels. This improved vasodilation means better blood Blood flow and oxygen delivery to your working muscles. With more oxygen reaching your muscles, you can sustain higher levels of exercise intensity, which can ultimately lead to a higher VO2 max. Plus, B2 is packed with other nutrients like betalins, which have powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Let's not forget about iron. This essential mineral is crucial for the production of hemoglobin, the protein in your red blood cells that carries oxygen throughout your body. If you're deficient in iron, your body can't produce enough hemoglobin, which means your muscles aren't on getting the oxygen they need to perform at their best. Ensuring adequate iron levels through diet can help optimize oxygen transport and utilization, which is key for improving your VO2 max. Good dietary sources of iron include lean meats, spinach, lentils, and fortified cereals. It is best to have your iron through natural food sources that I just mentioned, as taking iron supplements can be very hard on your stomach. Of course, it's important to remember that supplements should never replace a solid training and nutrition plan. They're meant to complement an already healthy lifestyle and give you an extra boost when it comes to reaching your fitness goals. Always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen and be sure to follow recommended dosages and guidelines. So whether you're a seasoned athlete or just starting your fitness journey, incorporating these methods into your routine alongside a well-rounded training and nutrition plan can be a game changer for boosting your VO2 max and taking your performance to new heights. Try it out and let me know in the comments how it goes for you. So until next time, take care and I'll see you around.